As temperatures begin to warm up, snake sightings are expected to increase here in the op state. Over the weekend, many people have took to Facebook and posted pictures of snakes they found in or around their homes. According to educational director and biologist Jess Kusher, there's no need to worry. Most of the snakes found in the area are non-venomous, meaning they're harmless. So we have uh, most of the snakes in our area are actually non-venomous. They, uh, if they bite you, they're not going to inject you with venom. Um, but then again, you should just leave all snakes alone. Um, here in the Blue Ridge or the upstate region of South Carolina, we have a number of really amazing snakes. One of them is the corn snake uh, featured here, this maze of the corn snake. We also have a number of black rat snakes uh, and other rat snakes, and they're really just doing us a great service by eating the rodents around our yards and that kind of thing. But she says that's not all. There are more non-venomous snakes that roam our area. So we have a number of amazing snakes that like to hang out in our gardens. We have a green rough snake here in South Carolina, which is like a bright tropical green. Um, we also have garter snakes, which are the black ones with yellow bands, and they're non-venomous. They are really small and they're probably eating worms in your flower beds, so they're really not doing any harm. Just leave them alone and they'll leave you alone. According to Jess, there are venomous snakes in our area that we should keep an eye out for. Here we have a uh, preserved copperhead. This is one of the venomous snakes in our area, and they are notable by their Hershey Kiss pattern on their skin. Um, so the way you can identify them is uh, by looking for these bands that look like little triangles on their sides, pretty much. Um, so we have those, we also have cotton mouths, which will look fairly similar, and we have two species of rattlesnake in our area. We have um, the cane snake, and we have the diamondback. Um, those are going to be found like way up in the mountains, so I wouldn't worry about that until, unless you have a lot of big rocks in your backyard. And she says if you find a snake in or around your home, the first thing you should do is try to identify the type of snake. Then, if it's not venomous, grab a big stick to move the snake to a safe location. Again, by trying to identify the snake, right? Um, there's a number of great resources in the community. If you tag the Spartan River Science Center on social media, I will identify the snake for you. Um, so that's the first move, is to try to figure out if it's going to harm you or your pets. And the second move is to try to move the snake. Uh, just be aware when you're walking out on trails, um, it's a great idea to carry a walking stick with you and just kind of like brush the path in front of you and be aware that snakes are looking for a warm spot to sit out in the sunshine. So um, a big rock or a larger log, that's a, that's a place they're going to want to hang out and get warm. So just be aware. And she says the one thing you shouldn't do, no matter how fearful you are, is harm or kill the snake. Copperheads are, are a threat to our community, but really it's just people are very afraid of them and they have a right to be, you know. We don't want those around our kids and around our families. Um, but if you ever get bitten by a snake, all you're going to have to do is go to the hospital and they will just observe you. They won't give you antivenom right away. Snakes are honestly kind of scary. I am a biologist and I love snakes, but they still kind of scare me. And I would just say knowledge is power. You know, informing yourself and reaching out and reaching out to people like me who can help you identify your snakes, that'll just give you more of a peace of mind and hopefully help you from not killing all the snakes. For more information about snakes found in our area, make sure you visit our website at WSPA.com. Reporting in Greenville, Kristen Cheatham, 7 News.